Welcome to Morning Man with Pastor Steve Myrie. This morning's topic, loved while yet imperfect. But God commanded his love towards us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Romans 5 verse 8. I can't help but to wonder what would happen if we ever loved like Jesus loves as we peel away layer by layer, as we become more comfortable with our God and our own humanity, we become increasingly transparent. We're surprised to find that there are not nearly as much significant differences between us as we're led to believe. Perhaps we can learn how to become open about our failures as we are about our success. Without that kind of honesty, we create a false image that causes others to needlessly struggle. When others hear or once had a testimony of success, with no failure, they become discouraged. They feel that they don't qualify to receive what God has done for us because we have falsified the records and failed to tell the truth. Adam found himself stripped of his fig leaves. He stood naked before his wife and his God. Those are two important areas. We must wrestle to achieve a level of honesty that will keep us from being estranged from the ones we are connected to. We have to love and be loved by someone to the degree that we can say, this is who I am and it is all I am. Love me and be patient with me. There's no telling what I will become. But today, this is who I am. When you find someone who can see your flaws and your underdeveloped character and love you in spite of it all, you are blessed. If the only way you can love me is after I've perfected my imperfections, then you really don't love me. As I progress, I will always wonder, do you love me for who I am? Many marriages seem to pass a test as long as both parties are perfect in the major areas, but when one party becomes defective in one of those major areas, the relationship is often destroyed. God was too wise to wait until you perfected the defective. He loved you while you were unlovable, so you would never have to hide in the bushes again. He has loved you with an everlasting love. The quote of the day. He loved you while you were unlovable so that you would never have to hide in the bushes again. God bless you as you face the day knowing that you're not who somebody said you are, but you're who God made you to be.